मैम नाम लिखिए कल मैं खाऊ तो आरती जी का नाम लिखे ये किसका डिब्बा मैम प्लीज राइट योर नेम ऑन इट वॉट डिब्बा सर लेफ्ट या मैम प्लीज टेक योर्स अगर दे आर खाली ऑल्सो यू टेक इट विद यू प्लीज स्वच्छ भारत अभियान चल रहा है वॉट ओवर यू डू कैरी ऑल द स्टफ विद यू ओके फाइन यू हैव नॉट गॉट अ हैंड आउट ही इज नॉट गॉट प्रशांत सम हैंड आउट आर मिसिंग देर सम हैंड आउट आर मिसिंग देर आई होप यू नो ईच अदर्स नेम्स नाउ डन you know each other's names wonderful okay shall we move on then one minute let them that let them do it <laughs> if you want to find out anything else you're welcome to do it's a free country free world valentines day coming up find out whatever you want to <laughs> i only asked you to find out the names in your group and of course which school they belong to so that in case you need to find out something in the future you could just connect with them so that would help you baki personal details is up to you ma'am okay ready now i want to know how was the food today how was the lunch it was good it was nice delicious आपके चेहरे से उतना लग नहीं रहा था डिलीशियस था सॉरी सॉल्टी वॉट एल्स यमी ओके ऑल मम्मी स्पाइड दूसरों का खाना यम्मी ओनली एज लॉन्ग एज यू डोंट हैव टू कुक इट इज ऑलवेज यम्मी ऑन द अदर साइड डन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वॉट आई डिड राइट नाउ इज क्लासरूम मैनेजमेंट what i did just now with you is classroom management i don't have to spell out classroom management to you you're all doing it at different levels so i think that's a wonderful thing the moment i came outside my class i don't know in a very polite manner i think you realized that was classroom management too the way i invited you in by giving you what what did i do aha aha so what do you call that ah i mean is that a positive word that is classroom management and all of you with a jiffy were inside okay if you want to get your children in your mutti as we say in hindi you try to translate that it's lost in my hands we don't say that in your mutti it has a different effect then you need to do something which keeps them interested engaged and involved in the class and all of them involved did you notice all of you were involved in this classroom management technique that i just used was it difficult simple you can pick up anything i just picked up because it was an after lunch session i just picked up what was on your menu card jo aapne khaya tha aaj it isn't difficult you could pick up anything it could be colors it could be fruits it could be vegetables it could be what they usually like to eat it could be anything under the sun the next session is for asl specially how do we manage a class because it's all about listening and speaking see classroom management we've all done we've probably even had a, a module on that in our bed programs and otherwise we read a lot about it and we learn from a lot of experiences apne hi and from others also zyada tar unki galtiyon se hum log seekhte hain but we do learn okay that's cl uh, classroom uh, if you could just press the next one what i did was first this uh, eh, piche piche ek second just extending the activities from what we did and brought you back in you are more vocal now if you have realized i stressed on some words did you notice the intonation happy your lunch do you remember that example 
I took the inputs from all of you. And that's how students' contributions come in. And that's how you encourage them. Because at times, kya hota hai class mein? Children feel it's all one-sided. It's all one-sided. It's only the teacher who does the talking. It's only the teacher who does the activities. She is in total command of the situation and control. We never get a chance to say anything. And in many classes, mein, this is exactly what happens. You need to give it to them. And we call this a technique called, I don't know whether you've heard, it's called TTT versus STT. TTT talks about, I think it's there in the next one of the slides, must be there. It must be there. Uh, the next one, next one. No, no, leave it, then I'll go, down, go, go to that. Leave it. TTT is teacher, yeah, it's uh, teacher talk time. You got it? Yeah. It must be that. That's what I was saying. You have to, two things. TTT is teaching talk time. STT is student talk time. So teacher talk time versus student talk time. What is happening in our traditional classrooms is that the student talk time is at its lowest. Lowest. We need to increase the student talk time. Let me give you an example because it's very important. We teach them so much of grammar, language, etc. Ask them to write something. They write well. They score well, don't they? Ho jata hai. Ask them to say the same thing in front of you here, which I gave you an example in the morning. They are not able to do it. Why? You never gave them practice. For example, when you have a competition, your school is going for dance competition, for example, an inter-school dance competition. Without practice, do you send them straight away for the competition? Do you? Are we sending our cricket team for the World Cup without net practice? Even the captain has to have net practice. Even he needs to come to the nets. So how do we expect our children to perform ASL tasks in the examination, SA1 and SA2, without practice? Where is it happening? Is practice happening in your classes? And we all know the answer. We don't even need to nod you know, or kind of swing our heads. We know the answers. So that's because we are not giving them practice. We have to decrease our time and give them a chance to practice. In class, we don't allow them to speak. After class, we don't allow them to speak. In the buses, we don't allow them to speak. At home, parents don't allow them to speak. So when do they get actually to practice what they have theoretically learned at, uh, at school? Yes. Just making sure whether the chapati is working on you or the rice is working on you. <laughs> Heavy food. Okay? So we need to work on that. And keeping that in mind, why do we have to teach? I think it's very simply put. Da, di, do, dum, da, da. Can you see? Pinky? Clear? Is there anything to paraphrase in this? No blood outcomes of the whole process. What does it do? How does it help you? How does it help the students? Because right now we are talking about them. They get more imaginative, it improves their imagination. They get a little more creative, especially in activities. The best comes out. They have never tested their own potential. They get to do that. It helps them to check their own aptitude in different areas. Some work requires a lot of, shall I say, drawing or presentation. Some requires speaking. Some requires listening. It is different. It depends on the activity you have taken up. And then it's also your attitude towards the whole thing. How you take it, the way you speak, the way your body language speaks. Finally, it's your attitude towards the whole thing. How it is going to be incorporated in the final test when a student comes and virtually sleeps over the table or puts their hands over the table in an examination room. Are we fine with that? Are we fine with that? Are we fine with that? No, we aren't. We need to teach them.
all these things. These are the finer aspects that we need to teach them. So what is the role of a teacher and how do we go about it? I think this is not very difficult. What I want you to do in your own uh, groups at your table is give me five things, five things, the manner in which a teacher influences a student and what's their role. What should they be? You could discuss in your own groups. Five from every table. And we're going to have it here. So I give you 30 seconds only. Sorry about the time. Fifteen seconds to go. Done. Done. Ready? I'm going to invite any two teacher volunteers to come up here, please. Any two teacher volunteers. Not from the same school. See, somebody settled down. Were you both from the same school? Aha. This is classroom management. <laughs> I know almost everything now who's from which school. Yes, ma'am. Aarti ji, aye, please. Please come up. One more teacher. Can we have a gentleman here, please? How about a gentleman? Otherwise, they'll say we are very gender biased. Aye, Mr. Praveen. You're Mr. Praveen, right? Aye. The mota pen to you. You can take the patla pen, sir. Your inputs. They are going to write on the board. OK, you're going to facilitate. So please start writing. You take one half of the board, and you take the other half. IMM, please. So table one, give me one only. Motivating. Next, Praveen. Second one, wait. Facilitator. Problem solver. Guide. Counselor. Wait one minute. Table number uh, six. This is four. Go ahead. Observer. Yes, next, please. Interactive. Shall I put it as interactive? Wonderful. Yes, please. Mini and party. Mentor. Yes, sir. Dynamic. Oh, ho. Jo na ho, to teacher na ho. Let's have another round. Someone who didn't answer till now. That Michelle said knowledgeable, knowledgeable, subject knowledge. Give me, give me one word adjectives, you know, one word. Uh, kiss way. Code of conduct. We are talking about. Okay, code of conduct. I'm going to write it as mentor O R. Role model, yes, sir. Balanced personality, someone, a parent figure, listener, just say listener, he has to be good. We don't accept bad listeners. Patient, patient, apparent. What is apparent? Did you say a parent figure? Parent, ma, baap ki tarah. <laughs> a parent figure listener what else from the last table there table number nine could we have you people please inputs inputs DJ sir please give us so that's already mentioned so we've already mentioned that friendly please what else what else Gita, talk about your inputs. Give me the answers. Soft spoken, soft spoken. In a classroom of 80, soft spoken. 
<laughs> go ahead here sorry disciplined and you know, the teachers have to be disciplined before they expect good discipline from the students okay anything else now at random anybody can give us inputs uh, can you let's let's say yeah let's be let's talk about the creative part it innovative what's the difference between creative and innovative anybody what's the difference because people use it you know at random and sometimes they're not even clear about what's the difference between creativity and innovative sorry from what you have you improvise and you know innovate from what you already have creative is actually out of the box totally thinking out of the box and doing something new yes philosopher and guide bhi laga do sir philosopher and guide or oh, guide ph bhi laga do sir phosphorus content i mean philosopher content what else assertive ming firm firm what else what well, discipline maybe i think it comes partly you know this is all a part of here yeah. anything else convincing meaning yeah you're the most beautiful person here yeah that's how i convince you <laughs> okay <laughs> is there anything else cooperative cooperative anything else now talk about some guns in you which is not here communicative effective communicator it's so important from especially the asl uh, perspective anything else sorry a leader okay a role model i've already mentioned here actually it's already there okay we have approximately 10 plus 10 so 20 so here 30 about 30 32 do you think this is enough or we can have some more if i give you about 10 minutes more you will have some more talented flexible it doesn't talk about physical flexibility it's it's many other things which we'll be discussing today and tomorrow that means you teachers have all of these all of these in you and that's why you are in the profession can we have a round of applause for your own selves this is only half of what you are ye board kam pad raha hai otherwise we would probably put in a few more here and if i gave you 5 minutes more time you would put in a few more now see what is not there that we have here i don't think there's anything just check out sir tick mark kijiye tick i think we've done this feedback providing feedback is something that we missed i think in today's world feedback dena bahut zaruri as nilima ma'am was also mentioning in the morning gateway to asl has a link which talks about giving feedback self and then you also have any feedback on the whole component of asl please get back to cbse on that so there is a link on which you can provide feedback feedback obviously is both pluses and minuses the challenges that you faced effective communication i think we did all that did you notice you've mentioned more than what we have on our slide and that's all kudos to you and you are all of that in this one figure each in your school so two teachers from one school you can imagine kitna kuch hai aap logo mein to handle the whole situation that's why you're doing pretty well now when it comes to asl some people have challenges as to how you could be a good classroom manager can you put your hands together for these two people over here who took the trouble to write all this down you are so fast and fir bhi un logo ne likhi diya thank you so much praveen sir and thank you so much aarti ma'am please take your seats thank you and i mentioned to you the ttt versus stt now i'm given you some handouts over there and let's take handout number what is it called no no first is 
classroom management you have this picture do you have this picture ah uh, prashant just check if somebody has missed out this handout it is handout number 6 could you just check out please raise your hands those of you who haven't received it so that he can reach you okay now the pictures that you see i'll just brush that up okay the two pictures that you see here yahan prashant some more here on the first table you've got it okay if you notice the pictures uh because this is a photocopy of the original uh too much of dark shades coming into the picture nothing to worry the first one is the traditional mode of teaching the traditional method of teaching okay the teacher ya 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 da da ni da do do blah 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 you know the video the video the video and the students are listening and if you see the seating arrangement also is a traditional one if you go to the second picture just below that is a more shall i say new method of teaching the modern method of teaching wherein we have you sitting in groups the picture doesn't show that very clearly because i told you okay kuch nahi dikh raha oh sorry the the yeah type 1 is the modern one and type 2 is the traditional one okay fine the one we have in the manual is first the traditional one and then the second one is the modern now you can see there are four lines mentioned all you have to do is just write the pros the advantages of traditional and the disadvantages would come in the advantages of the next one okay what are the advantages of a modern classroom like the one that you're sitting in and of course traditional method teaching wherein everybody is sitting in rows and the teacher goes on teaching quickly one minute we won't go very much in detail then we'll go to the next activity this is yours please write your name otherwise i'll steal that you've written it ah oh. Have you given this? Have you given this? No. This is six eight here. Eight we call it next. Six four nine. Six four nine. We don't have time. No, we don't have time. We'll just go through this. Take out. Eight we call it. Yeah. Okay. I think you've got the idea. And if you just share within your own group, you would have seen. which is the better way of going about teaching but i do understand in some of your classrooms this is difficult okay because you do have that kind of seating arrangement but do you think that stops you from doing activities i'm just going to give you an example and if you see the next one 6a handout please refer to 6a the seating arrangement is given in 6a handout can you see that due to paucity of time we are going to rush towards rush to the next handout but i think you know the traditional versus modern may which is a better option some handouts prashant they have not received could you just help them 6a 6a Have you all got it now? Six A, six A has a seating arrangement as you can see the ones that you usually have in your classrooms. I'm just putting it upon the board here. Fine, and so on. And then there are about eight questions. based on classroom management which you can just read and go through i don't think there is anything which is very difficult you can answer all of them and this would be your homework 
you would have to take it and please bring this with answers tomorrow morning we start with a session on this so that gives you more time ample time to work on the answers and how to handle these problem situations coming to the arrangement of the seating something like this in your classrooms you can still do a lot of activities so these two people can work together or two students from here one two three four one group okay or these four one group so there are lots of ways that you can still do because children love to turn back okay and form a group so they will form a group here okay and these two will happily go and form another group here do you understand so you can easily do asl activities because unless you practice it is not possible please don't expect them to do wonders in the examination without actually giving them practice and it's really not fair on your part to do that nahi karna chahiye and after all you're not answerable to your teacher or coordinator there's someone above there who's also looking at you you will get your work due there later on for not doing the right thing okay above them all there is somebody who's watching us so this is it your homework for tomorrow let's go to the next handout Seven. This is your homework number two. आपने क्या सोचा था सी बी एस ई में वर्कशॉप करने आओगे और बिना होमवर्क के जाओगे आप लोगों ने यू डू रिमेम्बर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू है होमवर्क इन द हॉलीडेज हॉलीडे होमवर्क दिवाली में चार दिन दिवाली असाइनमेंट प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो गेट अ फील ऑफ वॉट यू डन लेट इट गो बैक टू यू दीज आर सिचुएशन वेर यू गेट टू डू अटल लिसनिंग you have to identify and just uske niche hi just mention according to the picture where this is happening it's not difficult so done now we are going to the next handout this is handout number okay this is handout number 10 aapne de diya sabko you'll get it ma'am wo kya hai na time lagta hai sohna se gurgaon pahunchne tak it takes a little time so it will reach you very soon so the jajar people have received the others are receiving jajar or is it jajar is like gajar i thought it was easier jajar 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 this is what she said drilling jajar 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 tab tak prashant would have finished his job dan prashant okay if you see now in our classroom situation culturally if you see in our classrooms children don't ask questions mante hai they are very silent they'll absorb but they don't say anything back to the teacher ye bura mana jata hai guru se sawal karna is not really in our culture we don't ask questions but those of you who have dared to ask one of me being here standing right before you i was relegated to the last bench in my classroom why because i used to ask questions sadly i was the only one asking questions so i was kind of singled out and always told to go and sit at the last bench hamesha classroom mein bas sawal poochti rehti hai see you have both kinds of people and we grew both of us grew in size very important very important but today wherever we are it's because we asked questions let me give you an example ma'am what's your name ramandeep ramandeep what did you have for breakfast ma'am aloo paratha with curd oh nice <laughs> really um uh, you take curd usually with aloo paratha yes ma'am <laughs> uh, uh, what did you what did you have day before yesterday Mam paratha stuff paratha stuff paratha stuffed paratha day before yesterday <laughs> Do you also have pickle no ma'am okay thank you <laughs> what happened if it is a one sided conversation only one person is asking the question i am waiting ki wo bhi puchegi what did you have for breakfast she never asked me bas apna hi bole ja rahi hai you understand again i tried i waited i gave her a chance to ask me a question they before instead of what did you have 
मेरा भी पूछो मैंने क्या खाया यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट एपन वेन आई वॉज ओनली आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन शी नेवर आस्ट मी एनी क्वेश्चन द कॉन्वर्जेशन विल स्टॉप दर नाउ वी नीड टू टीच आर चिल्ड्रन हाउ टू आस्क क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चनिंग टेक्निक्स इट्स अ टेक्निक एंड वी नीड टू इनिशिएट दिस इन आर चिल्ड्रन विल गिव यू अ स्मॉल लिटिल डिमोन्स्ट्रेशन जस्ट हैव दिस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आपके पास है आपके रेडी can we have another mic prashant for ma'am we'll just show you how you could do it <coughs> if you see it's mentioned the language of the grade is a 2.2 is almost b1 the higher level of cfr leading towards b1 and then you have b1.1 which is b1 and then you also have b1.2 almost at b2 level so this is what they should be able to do and ask and speak also you must remember that your question should not lead to a single word answer like yes or no like ma'am got from her it has to be something that needs elaboration open -ended. it has to be open ended suppose you end up asking a question which is close ended then how do you make sure that the conversation carries on the whole concept behind asl is to converse it's a two way communication if you have to converse and you end up asking a close ended question what should be done it should be followed by why okay and this is what you're going to show you we'll just show you one example Answer. Okay, that's okay. She'll do the first, and then we'll do another one just to show you. I'm sure you will understand. In what, in fact, just see how we do it, and we could have some volunteers from you to do the next one. ठीक है? Okay, ma'am. Hmm. How often do you go to the market? Once a month. Hmm. Did you ever buy footwear in the local market? Hmm. So when you bought this, what did it look like? Nice. And it was comfortable. Uh huh. So what And else do you look uh, for? I look for uh, something. If it's on my feet, I want it to be comfortable because I want to be able to walk comfortably. I want my feet to look beautiful in it. And so the footwear also should be nice. I want people to appreciate that I'm wearing a nice footwear. All that I look for. One question. See how first she gave her one one question. one syllable, one monosyllables. Yeah. But then she changed her questioning technique. We purposely did that. Yes, just to give you an idea. Just to give you an idea. So what you have to do in your classrooms is that when you are asking questions, remember. the children learn more by observation rather than by prescription if you tell them ask this kind of question they might not learn but if you are going to give a demonstration if you're going to practice it they automatically learn that they absorb it therefore when you're asking them questions don't ask close ended questions don't say do you like coming to school rather say why do you like coming to school the child has to give you a longer answer understand so same question but the technique of ask, asking it was different which makes the learner respond little more elaborately now what you have over here is the kind of questions you ask at every level though we told you that a1 and all can be put at class 1 2 3 actually in cfr this level is decided not by age but by the achievement of language proficiency at what level you can speak that language you may be 20 year old and still be a1 yes. or you may be 16 year old and be c2 okay so it depends on the level of proficiency those that blocking that that blocks that have been made a b and c are basically for the purpose of deciding the level of proficiency that you have achieved in the language okay not the age group whereas for our purpose in the classrooms 
we definitely know that our learners in the primary and pre-primary section are going to be A1 and A2. So we start building up from that point. Is this clear? Now, what do you do about it? You should make cards. You should make cards with these questions and have two people asking the same question. That means Sonia would ask the same question to maybe sir. She would then change her partner. partner change karne ka mukha nahi milta hai. But in class, let's change partners. After she's finished, she will change. We'll, the teacher will say, change partners. You go to anyone around, you will repeat the same question, but obviously you will get a different answer. And that person will ask you the same question, you will give a different answer. So you can visualize in the class what's happening is, first of all, you are learning the technique of asking questions. It's possible Pinky replied properly. But with the same question, Aarti could not reply. So you went on to ask another question to get that from her, just like we did just now. Another advantage to the whole thing is, ek to ek question you will remember. Second thing, you will get to listen to different types of answers. So it exposes you to different language expressions, language functions, vocabulary, everything that is included so you get to listen different language from her from her from him from him and obviously when you are asked the same question you will have the best of everyone's in your language expression did you get it yes or no yes or no do you want me to give you an example At least right now give a single word answer yes or no <laughs> <laughs> should we do it again for example, one example. Mm -hmm. Do we have the ask card one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you just give this to one, all of them? Also remember, this is a technique you need to teach your students of asking the right questions. Because in the ASL exam, the second part, where they have to discuss interactive session, they have to have the right questions. Also in the first one where you say, okay, now you can ask a question. The first part, we know they all come prepared with their prepared speeches and all, which should not happen. We are going to discuss this tomorrow. They should never be, you know, sort of that kind that you, uh, I've seen, you know, in one of the exams that we conducted initially in the pilot test, <coughs> I found one whole section mm. good at sports, another full section music. <laughs> and everybody is talking about the relationship and between mother and daughter. Yeah. Chahe wo son ho ya koi bhi ho. Koi bhi ho. Mother and daughter. So it so was very obvious. We, we are going to discuss how to, uh, uh, you know, may prepare them for the first part of the session. Second part, how to ask questions. Because the concept here is the idea and the objective behind the second part is that the conversation should carry on. And, and giving the other person a chance to speak, what we call turn taking, taking, which is very important. Here in the second part, the objective is not to test how well you spoke. It is to test how well a team member you played, how well you brought out the other person as well. That means your speaking skills, your questioning skills have to be so perfect that the other person also speaks. So it is interactive session. And that is the objective behind testing them. So that's, that's why you must know. OK, ma'am. Let's do this. Card. You have ask cards. Basically, what you have to do is make a card with one box. So th there's only this one question on each so card. Okay? Only one question on each card. And uh, sir, take uh, another one, sir. No problem. No problem. The thing is that so um, can't give another one. They all come out very badly when I was looking at Okay, uh, maybe you should get this photo start again. Yeah. We can make another photo Can you just share with your friends? Right now, we'll share it. Sir, you know, they didn't eat food in the photocopying machine. Try to understand. Photocopying machine is also tired now. Okay? Only we. Can I take one? You've written your name. Please write your name. And just share here. Please return this to Kailash. She's at table number two. Okay, Abhi, you small. can all share. Do you have at least one? You know, you can have. Can this. I have one? Make it in a bigger okay. font. This is Lakshmi. And you have to different her. cards. Yes, you can refer. So each child now. can be given one. Just card. to get an idea. The whole thing doesn't have to be given you to all. Can, read. can you read? 
Okay, you don't okay. give the whole thing to all the children. Fine, this you is just for your reference. One one, one card to each uh -huh. child. They go hunting oh, for the person and ask oh, them the question. Yeah. Oh, so pinky add na na. So that becomes, you know, it can okay. be a nice breaker. It can be. So everybody's uh, paper will be pinky. Session, it will be teaching questioning techniques. Okay. It could be teaching. Uh, how many of you don't have it? Could you okay. please raise your hands? Please raise your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So dust bana dijiye dust. That's enough. Don't waste. ठीक है, we are going to give an example, we'll demonstrate कि कैसे करना है। Will you ask or shall I ask? You ask, I'll answer. I'm always on the receiving end. ठीक है जी। बेचारी मैं। Come on. Alka ma'am? Yes ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How good? Oh, extremely good. Okay ma'am, can you tell me which person from history would most would you like to meet? I would like to meet, uh, I don't know if you've heard of this person called Rani Durgavati. I would love to meet her. And why? Because she was a very brave gone queen who took on the Mughals, even sacrificed her own young son, Veer Narayan, for it. She took on the reins of her kingdom after her husband, King Madan Shah, died. And you know why? Hmm? I come from the same place that she does. Oh, so Rani Durgavati too. Because my university is called Rani Durgavati University. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Then I'll change my partner. And I'm going to you. Your name is Manfri? Deepika. Deepika. Padu? Deepika, no. you can have this mic. <laughs> or you have one over there? Yeah. Just switch it on. I'll ask the same question to her. So, Deepika, which person from history would you like to meet? William Shakespeare. And why? Because the kind of writing and the kind of philosophy he had in mind, what I study or what I have studied till now, I am a big fan of his. Thank you. Partner change. One of you, can you take the mic? So, Mini, your name is Mini? Okay. So, Mini, which person from history would you like to meet? I would like to meet uh, Mahatma Gandhi. And why would you like to meet him? Because I am born on the same date on <laughs> which he was. Is that the only reason? Because he is the father of the nation and he must have done something. Because of that, he has been regarded uh, as the father of the nation. So, I would like to meet him for the speech that he did. Okay what he con the way he contributed towards the nation i have right now taken an example with only three and then i keep circulating around and changing my partners okay i keep asking the same question abhi inhone nahi kiya deepika was also supposed to ask her question to me and i would have answered ask one question so i get to listen to three different people three different answers and if i ever have been asked the same question i would give the best answer and that could be totally different from whatever they've said. Uh, hi, Himal. Hi, Kalka, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to tweak this question a little bit from what it's is not fair now. out of syllabus, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's very much in the syllabus. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, why do you like to teach English? Because I can't teach any other subject, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, I'm sure you can. Because basically, I talk, walk, laugh, eat, and sleep English, ma'am. Oh, I see. Hmm. How do you sleep English, Himal? Ma'am, when I sleep, I sleep in an English position. <laughs> Can you demo the English English? Ma'am, please give me a bed. Ma'am, the table is all yours. No, ma'am, I don't sleep on. Absolutely impossible, darling. Yes, I know, ma'am. That's why I need a bed, ma'am. English bed. Okay. I mean, this is we are going ahead actually because you know we are yeah. talking at the level of a teacher. But otherwise, you can uh, see how the students would answer. Why do you want to learn English, ma'am? Madam? Aarti, ma'am. Ma yes. Why do you want to learn English? It, uh, I can say this is a very, very nice language. I don't have words even to express. And uh, it uh, fascinates me a lot. I always wanted to see. You wanted to learn English? Yes. OK, very good. So by the end of, say, about five partner changes. Why do you 
you can keep sitting sir continue to sit please and this language is just like a window to the international <coughs> oh beautiful <coughs> very helpful to exchange our ideas in other clear hai very good i see yaar what we are trying to tell you is no, that when you no, move no, around no, no, no. asking the same question okay. to what different people not only are you getting different answers you are getting different language structures kal bhi agar aa jaye to koi in this language structure actually when we are testing you out if you recall us live we showed you right in the beginning we said in the assessment of asl we want to test certain things fluency okay and how about sense you make coherence and cohesion your vocabulary the structures and all that the learner gets a chance to use because see each one of us we did a different thing it was fun thing and that was a different level of answers you gave me a very different level of answer and he now all the do you think the vocabulary was same the structures were same no did it make sense were they coherent was there cohesion were they linked did they link their ideas sir said certain things were his ideas linked was there cohesion there so all this is what gets generated when you ask these questions and you have so many of them in encourage your learners to ask follow up questions first of all the question is to be asked in such a way that you get an elaborate answer and there is no need for it at least two to three different sentences well with you know well knit answers where the cohesion is there they should be coherent there should be a variety of structures this variety of structures comes up as they advance in their learning level okay some children have very advanced language abilities even in class 3 some don't have it even in yeah. class 10 okay so what we need to do is you know ensure that all our learners come up to that level which we have decided at this point they should have and for that cbsc has already said that at a certain point this is the this is the kind of vocabulary you should have this is the number of structures you should use if you were to look at 2005 ncf you will find your answer there okay 250 structures you are supposed to know use okay and 5000 words you're supposed to know all right so you can look at those the most frequently used structures most frequently used vocabulary that is something that should be done taking from here itself taking on from here on the gateway to asl in the cbsc website ma'am mentioned to you there is gateway to asl are you familiar with gateway to asl all of you great and that as uh, nilima ma'am in the morning also mentioned i reiterate the same point i might sound repetitive it's okay there are activities different kind of activities as to how to go about improving your speaking abilities your listening abilities and you could pick out an activity which suits your classroom situation the average learner of your class lots of activities so pick up something from there and see what you could do these are just a few basic ones which they need to learn anyway if they need to be able to communicate and perform well in the speaking test we are doing shall i say the basics of what we would be actually testing and assessing tomorrow the finer aspects and these are very important for that is that clear any sawals for us anything at all please feel like a fauji let me ask koi shak ya sawal great let's go on to the next part listening handout why so should we so teach listening uh, ma'am would you like to there? do this i'll come ma'am may wo dekh you but they perhaps they got the right handout first i'll, I'll take care of the listening one huh. you go ahead and uh, explain i'll take care of the all right You need a microphone. I have it. Leave that alone. Answer another question of mine. <clears throat> Why do we need to listen at all? Wonderful. If you don't listen well, you don't respond accurately. 
So to be a good speaker, you need to be a good listener. But listen to what? For what? Okay. For understanding. So we have to ensure that certain listening sub skills are taken care of in the classroom. We're talking of that when you listen, after all, that is the first activity that we all do from the moment we are born. Before we learn to speak, we learn to listen. When we speak our mother tongue well, it is simply because we have absorbed that language through the ear. No doubt, our very first uh, sacred scriptures are Shrutis. They're all what they heard and memorized. Shrut means to hear. Okay, so it is because this is the most important organ for acquiring a language. Only when you listen well, you speak well. If you speak well, you read well. If you read well, you write well. So listening accurately and listening properly is very important. Most of the time, we are so busy listening to our own voice, we don't, we forget to listen to what we need to listen. So we need to ensure that our learners listen to what they need to listen so that they acquire language subconsciously. That is why most of us, we say, we, though English is not my mother tongue, but I have learned it more by ear than by the grammar book. The grammar book didn't teach me any English. I learned English because I was surrounded by that language. My teachers, I never realized that they knew Hindi at all. Till I met them outside in the market, you know, shopping something, and I heard them speak in Hindi. I didn't even know that they knew Hindi at all. So it's because we were constantly listening to it. So subconscious acquisition of language has to take place only when we listen. You have to ensure that you create listening situations in the classroom. Then it provides vital information. Right now, you are listening to us for information that's very important for you to be able to conduct ASL accurately in your classrooms. We even acquire grammar structures. We don't have to be told this is subject, verb, object. Did your mother, in her mother tongue, tell you, now you're speaking karta, karm, kriya, or vacha? No, but you have learned the language. Did you learn grammar? No. So grammar has to be learned for a different reason. It's more for self-editing. But acquisition of language, acquisition of structures happens when you listen. When you listen. Then contextualization of new vocabulary. I can give you a word. But if I don't know how to use that word within the right context, it's no use my knowing that word. So it has to be learned within the context. OK, then it also helps us learn pronunciation, rhythm, stress, and intonation. As I said, every language has its own rhythm. It has its own stress pattern. And if right now we're talking English, if we have to learn the English language with its right pronunciation, the right stress pattern, right intonation, then we have to listen to it. And real communication requires both listening and speaking. All right. Now, what should you do? Encourage your learners to listen as often as possible, which does not mean that it becomes a TTT class. OK, it is not meant to be a TTT class. It is still meant to be a student activated class. I won't even say student talk time because I'm talking listening here. I would say it has to be a SAT, student activated classroom, where you give interesting learning situations to your learners to listen. 
help students prepare to listen. You have been conducting the ASL test. How do you prepare them to listen? You tell them, OK, now you will listen for this, or you will listen to this. The two different things. Listen for, for a particular information. Listen to is a general listening of the entire script. Once may not be enough. When you are giving them a test on this kind of a thing, you want them to listen to it. Once may not be enough for them to comprehend. Or you know, pick out the information that you want them to pick out. So that's why in your ASL, when you're conducting the listening test, you have to play the script twice. Encourage students to respond to the content of a listening, not just to the language. The entire content, what is it about? OK, don't let them get hassled with the nitty gritties of the language. Because here, they are listening out for something very different. They are time bound. There is time limit. There is a certain expectation. And for that, you cannot limit them to other things. Then different listening stages demand different listening task, different kinds of things. And that's why if you've seen, uh, you have conducted ASL tests in your school, the listening tests, you find there are four different kinds of listening tests. And all the four have different kind of listening worksheets with them. Yeah, they all the objective behind all of them is different. Some way you're listening out for just basic information, one word. Some way you're listening out for the gist. Some way you're listening out for evaluative. Some way you're listening out for what is you know intended. Okay, so you are you have to make sure you and you tell your students you will be listening to this particular thing for this task and utilize authentic language and context don't bring out something very fancy have real life situations you could have announcements okay you could have uh, an important speech which is relevant to the students some tips some tips you know examination the tips example, you want them to do a certain task Listen to instructions, morning assembly instructions. We give out, isn't it? After that, they are not there. Oh, what did Madam say about it? Because they were not listening to it. So you could record these morning assembly things and play it in the classroom as a listening task with a suitable worksheet, you know, advertisements. And these are, you have, you know, something that surrounds them in their real life situations, something that is very relevant to them all right you don't look for something you know you're looking for a, a speech which is from history it doesn't make any sense it makes no sense to the student but if in a class in class 11 the student could be interested in what is happening in the world outside in the political situations and perhaps you could pick up a speech from there and ask them or they're listening out for something that interests them you know a sale you have all these things announced on the radios and televisions, something like that you pick up. It has to, because believe me, anything that has to do with language that is using language is a tool for teaching language. Please don't think that those flyers that they send as junk mail, you can throw them. No, even those are useful. Sometimes to, to point out errors, sometimes to be used as testing materials. OK, so anything that uses language, is not wasted. You can use that if it deals with their real life situations. You can uh, because that is what we have here. No, no this is the uh, listening written paper for this is different. Because we are talking about listening, she mentioned. Yeah. So there are four types of tasks. The first one, the second 
Now, the first one is usually, as she mentioned, an announcement or an advertisement, okay, or some tips to do something, a short one, and you have fill-ups. Fill -ups. Okay? You must remember in the fill-ups, though there will be just four of them, and this is for four marks, though there will be just four of them, you have to write the exact word as mentioned in the passage by the speaker. So, if the answer is presides, he presides over the function. If the child writes preside, what should you do? That's my question to you. Do you have half marks in listening and you speaking? Don't have. Yes, we don't know. No. Nowhere along, either in the listening or in the speaking, do you have no easy three and a half and a four and a half that English teachers give? It's not there. It's either three or it is four. So what would you do if you have a child who writes a preside instead of the answer, which is given by the end of the worksheet, you know, for the teachers, you already have the answer keys and the answer is precise. So, what have you done? I said, you must have faced such challenges when you were doing corrections during your listening. You're not given marks. You're not giving marks. <laughs> Actually, that is the situation. You're supposed to listen. That's why Doba, twice, the audio is played to you. Do you have any other answer for this? If she's right now, you're just confirming. You do not give marks because then what happens? All the four would have a slight difference in their answers. And without listening properly, he's getting full marks here. Yeah. Now, let's put this into a real life situation where he's standing at the airport or in the railway station and the announcer says, the train will leave on platform number third in order, and he has heard only part of what he thought was right. Predictive listening, Kiausle. That's a sub skill. I've just given you one. He predicted that this is what it is going to be, and the train was in some other platform. He rushes there, realizes, comes back, it's too late. We have to train our children to listen carefully. Okay? And if that means deducting one mark at age group of, I mean, class nine, so be it. At least you'll become a better citizen. Okay, you'll become a better individual. You are, you know, practicing one of those basic skills. The second one, <coughs> the second task, you have MC cues. Okay, so there are distractors. Please remember these distractors are very close to the real answer. So if they don't listen carefully again, they would really goof up over here. Okay, and these are six. If I remember right, there are six of them. Then you have you have five speakers and you have to match their statements. Yes, I think you've heard this. So there are five speakers speaking on the same topic. For example, they're speaking on uh, health and hygiene, all of them or you know, healthy habits or exercise. Everybody is speaking and nobody is taking any names. There is no speaker one, two, three, four. You have to listen. Who was the first speaker? Second, third, fourth, and fifth. And then you have statements. Please remember, the statements are not cut, copy, paste. They are rephrased. They are rephrased. They are rephrased, giving the gist of what that speaker has said. So then you have to say, speaker number three, say, whoever, five, whoever, you have to write the speaker number, okay? And in sometimes they even give you a box. Isbar, if you remember, they gave you a box, okay, <laughs> to write the speaker numbers. And the last one is a speech, a speech or a discussion a at speech. the higher level, yeah. a discussion. And what are you expected to do? Sorry? Absolutely. It is again. Okay. You have to give training and practice to your children to be able to do this. Again, here, if they write the wrong word, there are sometimes two words in one sentence. Is this Sahi Lithia? Okay. Going up. Okay, that's going and not written anything there, or going along, whatever there, keep going pop, he heard it as pop, 
okay or going pub he heard it as pub he didn't listen to it carefully you cannot give half marks he loses marks for the whole sentence like now if he has given already then i don't know it's okay the next time he won't give don't do it this is your first workshop you've got a certificate the living order saying you attended workshop on the so so <laughs> but he submitted the evidence on so so <laughs> but this is what we say that everybody should learn and attend workshops so that you know actually everything cannot be put on the website would you agree it's not possible to do it so these are the final things that you need to learn when you attend workshops and then on website you can't ask your questions like the way you're asking yeah. you know, this this is this becomes highly interactive Absolutely. you have your questions because you know there you'll keep your questions to yourself if you've noted them down fine otherwise you won't even remember you had a question to ask and nobody is going to answer those over there so it's much better to attend these workshops you see the website come back here attend a workshop and then i think you know it's more uh, uh, enabling for you after that do you have any questions on the listening area before i ask you questions we're going to have a quiz now and i want to know how you're going to do it unless you have had a first hand experience of actually conducting the listening test you wouldn't be able to answer my questions have you all had an opportunity to conduct the listening test every one of you wonderful did you face any challenges along the way any problems kahi kuch kathinaiya ki ye nahi ho sakta hai kya hum aise kar sakte hain kya hum waise kar sakte hain any questions that's why i think throughout the year you need to keep on giving them yes. practice for these things pick up different things not the same thing you there's so much available yeah. you know so much material available on the net your youtube and things you like that yeah and and yes, yeah just take up that and give them practice as much practice as you can you know within your school i'm sure you have a music room where you can record certain things not in your voice so that they can they get used to different voices and different ways of speaking have somebody record it for you play it in the classroom make a question paper for that and you know give them practice so that they know this is exactly what they're expected to do don't expect them to all of a sudden start answering Absolutely. questions you know? really so fair. you have to give them practice drill 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 i will once again come back it's not drill in speaking alone it's drilling for everything that you want them to for every skill you need to drill them ma'am there is plenty of material on gateway to asl2 okay even for listening you have sample papers of the previous years three years with answer keys and audios mm. you don't have to do anything except download them give them practice it's just getting them on that mode to be attentive listeners <clears throat> Okay my next question Should you allow the students to read through the worksheet before listening to the audio Yes yes Yeah How how long should you how much time 30 seconds ma'am can you just read the worksheet in 30 seconds Can you just do it just read one sheet in 30 seconds I start your time now Is it possible not possible so 2 minutes at least okay at least 2 to 2 2 to 3 minutes it doesn't take much time it's just a worksheet because then they know what to look for what to listen for as she mentioned just now listen to and listen for 
There's a difference. And if listening skills and listening skills, uh, for one part, for example, for part A, mm -hmm. for that whole part, certain techniques are devoted for part A. Then, ma'am, you should read the whole worksheet before you start the audio. All the four tasks. Because if you are reading, when the audio is going on, you would have missed already something. You should read the worksheet before you start the audio. Ma'am, the two passive skills we call them, that is right. listening and uh, uh, writing, reading uh, and reading, listening and reading are the two, the, you know, input skills we, uh, or writing. What we say when you're teaching reading comprehension also, and how to deal with reading comprehension in the exam is, tell the students not to bother about the entire thing. They must first read the questions so that they can attempt, they know what to look for. It's exactly the same thing you need to do for listening comprehension as well. OK? Because these are both comprehension skills. Remember that. Both are comprehension skills. And in comprehension skills, you have to tell them what to look for, what to listen out for. OK, and that is why give them enough time. Don't we say even in the written exam that first take enough time to read your question paper. 15 minutes is given to you as you really can't. Yeah. yeah, why? Just to go through the Why? So that they understand what is to be written. They don't start thinking and groping. Otherwise, you would find children spending a lot of time on the comprehension passage in the exam. But if you give them this instruction that read the questions and then read the question paper and then read the passage, it's much faster. Same thing goes for listening. If they read the worksheet well, then listening to it twice will be good enough, ma'am. Now, my next question. Suppose, for example, let's just take this example. Sunil and Pramila sitting in front of you. Now, they are both teaching in the same school. She takes 9th A, she takes 9th C, D, she takes 9th A and F. Just an example. Sunil is absent on the day of the listening test. So who's going to invigilate in Sunil's classes? Give me answer. Please speak into the mic so that everybody gets to know your answers. So who's going to invigilate in, who takes the exam or who conducts the exam in Sunil's class? Who? Pramila? Uski class mein kon jayega? Have you not faced this problem ever? You must have had. Yes, please. How, how would you handle it? Substitution teacher. A substitution teacher. You don't need Pramila or Sunil to be in their sections when the test is being conducted. Any teacher teaching any other subject can invigilate. You don't need an English teacher in the respective classes. Is that clear? Koi bhi le sakta hai. It's only invigilation. There are no inputs to be given. On, and it's over. The worksheets are distributed. Is that clear? So it happens sometimes. The teacher is not there, of course. The papers that are collected from Sunil's classes would be given back to her whenever she comes back or it's sent to her home, as some people do, for correction. And Pramila ma'am's sections, ke jo papers and they will be given to Pramila ma'am for correction. Is that clear? Any questions on that? My next question. Should you announce the date of the listening test? Yes. How much in advance? 10 days, one week, 10 days. As much as possible in advance. Even if a month, ma'am. Even a month in advance. Because people have plans. Kisi ki shadi hai, chacha ki shadi hai, kisi ke roka hai, kisi ka kuch bhi hai, havan hai. So if you know the dates, please announce in advance. Let everybody know that the test is going to be held on so and so date. My next question. If, if Anjali... Surinder sir, Narinder sir are absent on the day of the listening test. If Surinder, Narinder, Virinder, and Anjali are absent on the day of the test, what do we do? All the, absent teachers together. All the substitution teachers will be there. 
No, no, we're talking of students. We're talking, about, <laughs> we're talking about probable students. I'm just giving you at random some names who are already here. There is no Virinder though, but still. Ma'am, would you do that in the science practicals? Ah. You should not be taking it again. I think. One minute. Uh, let me ask you a question. You said that you put them all together for another test. We can Fine. Do that. No, ha you can do that. Okay. My next question is a follow-up question of your answer. Anjali comes. Surinder comes. Virinder, Narendra don't come even then. <laughs> then what? Then what? No, these are real problems that people have faced. I am giving you only those. Jab aisa hota hai, what have you done or what would you do or what should you do? We usually take it, ma'am, again. We should you not take it them. again. We are enforced to conduct. We oh, usually take it. Ma'am, would you do it with the science practicals? No. Yes. 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 Otherwise, whole year, you are doing a test, a retest. A re retest, a re re retest, or re chal raha hai pura saal SA1 ka, and then jab ho jayega to SA2 ka. Comfortable, you see. If I don't go, teacher will take it again. That but see, bad. because we are into a CC system, and we are very student friendly system, and we are such good, accommodating, flexible, nice, parent figure kind of teachers, CBSE has been very, very generous in giving you two sets of papers okay you do only one set on the day of the examination as a backup as a backup it could be a technical problem it could be any other kind of problem you have only one more set okay you must consult your head of the department and if possible your principal whether you fix one more have a backup please remember and you re do a retest believe me they will not come for the first test at all we have noticed that once you tell them that this is the date they have to be there absent hongi to absent hai they make sure they come take the test and go for those 40 minutes or 45 minutes, depending on the class, wo aate hai, and then they go. So that's okay. if, if one student is absent, he shouldn't be. If, if by chance, yeah. the student, because there are few children, those who are, don't follow the instructions. So when we are sending the final lists to you people, mm -hmm. should we mark absent? Yes. There in it's ASL, SA1, SA2. And out of that, 20 marks listening, 20 marks speaking, which is converted to 10 and 10. That means if he misses even this 10 marks, he still has 10 marks plus 80, 90 marks to score from. Nothing to worry. This is how you should be convincing the parents. And it is only one part. Then again, you have an opportunity to do the L and S for 20, 20, 40, and then convert it out of 20. So there is no hassle. Yes. Yes, ma'am. It's the same thing for every class, ma'am. See, if once same. you do the test again, parents will come. Yes. You did it that time, do it for yes, us again. Absolutely. Now. It's much better to yes. follow a principle of saying there is going to be no, no second test. test on this. We Please. were of the impression, ma'am, frankly speaking, that we are supposed to do it what come may because we have to send the mark sheets to CBSC. Ma'am, please tell me, Deepika, ma'am, if the child was absent on the day of the test, how many times? How many times? We were facing this problem, we were facing the problem. Now, this is why I'm discussing this. This is a very, very, shall I say, practical problem which can happen to anybody in any institution. We are just giving you such. This is exactly why we are meeting here. This is what we need to solve here, which you can't do otherwise. It's better to follow a strong principle of no second test. Sorry. Yeah, she's probably attended one of the ASL workshops and show you she would know about it. So try not to have any re 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 tests. Do not encourage re tests. My next question to you. My next question to you. 
do you have any questions i am asking i keep asking you questions to bring out these problems any other questions you have no no we are talking only about listening ma'am we'll do uh, speaking only when we come to the module let's talk about everything that comes under the listening now suppose your uh, suppose you most of you have uh, the smart boards aise koi schools hain jahan nahi bhi hai smart boards how do you manage to do the test how do you manage to conduct the test you have a language lab wonderful there are more options like sonia said you can take them all to the language lab or you could take them in shifts if the language lab cannot accommodate more than 42 to 45 students at a time first period 9th a second period 9th b say third period 9th c so on suppose you don't have a language lab jo ho sakta hai it's possible that you don't have you must be having a common place or a room or an auditorium or a conference hall which can accommodate many students at a time please take them there distribute the worksheets play it finish it for all the sections at one go okay theek hai you should know these options this is how people are doing my next question is can i have the test for 9th a and 9th b today and i am a little busy with some project work of school can i do 9th c and d e tomorrow why not why not sorry absolutely paper ek hi hai okay and you are just filling answers okay so you should be very careful and tell them that it will be all conduct simultaneously usually what they do is sari classes zero period to first period you are going to have the listening test so everybody is on on alert all sections a b c d are having simultaneously but if you have an option like lab then one goes another comes second third or if you have an auditorium everybody sits at one time and finish yes it is very convenient it's very very convenient everybody is there all the teachers are there for invigilation more than one teacher is there so they're moving around there so there is no problem that leads me to the next question when a listening please do have your tea simultaneously and those biscuits <laughs> okay two biscuits okay uh, when you have invigilation in a listening uh, session of the test invigilator should be very careful right invigilation honi chahiye is this right is what i'm doing right or is it wrong right invigilator kar rahi hu main invigilate kar rahi hu sorry it should not be done some people say it should be done some people say it should not be done please give me reasons how miss something i will copy from the other sir no no sir i, I my my question is as a teacher in vigilator should i stay put in one place or should i move around actually we are asked to invigilate i think it should be one place now we should not move around in a listening test yes very very true you get disturbed you get conscious you get tense when a teacher is passing by you and peeping into your paper it makes the student very conscious and nervous and in that he might miss listening to a very important sentence or word which might be at actually the answer in vigilation in a listening test you have to inform the invigilator jo bhi subject ki ho ki in between nahi jana hai just stay put in one place okay focus and you can see that don't disturb them there should be no talking on the mobile there should be no discussions with your colleague not in the listening test please please make sure about that it might be the most important thing for you on the planet but for them if they miss that one mark it makes a lot of difference it makes a lot of difference is that clear any other question you want to ask me now one more a few things which are very important when you are announcing the date of the test make sure you have left a little margin for the downloading of the test materials 
you must have faced a lot of problems downloading the material for the test wo aasani se download nahi hota is that right yes yes we 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 are trying to improve every time you know we get a feedback that's why we say give us feedback in fact what has been done this time was actually it is class wise 9th 10th 11th don't try to download all go 9th 10th 11th separately it's much faster second thing there is a time slot for every part of our country north ke delhi ahmedabad idhar wo udhar they have been given time slots but you know how teachers are they have never followed the time slots because they want to go home and they want to do this work in the school itself so everybody is trying to download at the same time and after 2:30 3:30 nobody is downloading so that's the time when it really downloads faster or in the evenings so keep a margin humne dekha hai in some schools the test is announced the material is not there and then they are you know struggling for that test worksheets and material so make sure you have that much margin you're all experienced teachers make sure you have enough margin time to be able to download any other question anything else any problems you face think about it over today when you're traveling in the bus or the train or the taxi or the car when you're going back home run through your mind as to kaise kaise problems aapne face kiye the jab aapne ye test conduct kiya tha of the fogginess that was there the haze thoda sa jo tha thoda sa clarity aaya vision mein rasta road dikh raha hai road madam ye road mein aapka kaap hi bahut thande hai na koi baat nahi hum aa rahe to jaate na dikha ko ko pee ke jaate hai sude sude pe na to acha hai na idhar hum abhi peete na clear so we are meeting tomorrow at 9 at 9 was it because that was registration you finish registering now <laughs> if you want to go back home you want to go back early you come early you come early and we also coming from very far very away. far off believe me other end ghaziabad the other end and so much of traffic on the road i left at 7:15 7:20 and i reached at whatever time bilkul same thing left. she came from noida and she also so it's not very easy for us to but we are very happy to be here agar aapko dikh nahi raha hai to dikha dete hain nahi hum wo hamari prasannata hamare sharir ka size mein dikhta hai we are very prasanna full people any questions you have two homeworks we are very mean people i know <laughs> two homeworks i have given you handouts no, basically don't teachers. say you have lost the handouts we have extra handouts kal subah yahi kara dungi phir theek hai thoda sa time lagaye and do it okay uh, fine anything else for them for today ma thank you so much have a wonderful journey and safe journey back home and be here ready for tomorrow If you come at nine, and in fact, whether you come or not, jitne bhi log honge, we are the types who will start on the time, because we won't Even be able to cover. Will start on time. Yes, we won't be able to cover up otherwise. We have shifted a part of today's work for tomorrow because you all took time to come today. You were all zoom. Uh, what is it? They got you know, a zoom te jam te. You got lost somewhere. So did we, and then we reached. So tomorrow no jhumna and na jhamna. Dolte dalte hain. Ah. No jhumna and no jhamna. Straight. Now you have no excuses for missing out this place. Now you know Because where. Because one is. parent came and told us in my school. She told a teacher <coughs> who called her for uh, complaining about a son. Said, "Te itni saari yah dolti pere ho. Mare chore ko na samhal sakhe ho." 
सारे छोरा जैसे चाली चाली छोरा को संभालू ऐसे ना डोलती फिर सी यू नो दिस इज हाउ इट इज सो प्लीज बी हियर ऑन टाइम एंड यूर ऑल टीचर्स आई डोंट हैव टू टेल यू मोर देन दैट जल्दी आए एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द जेंटलमैन आप भी जल्दी आए आपके बिना तो बिल्कुल खाली रहेगा सर तो मजा ही नहीं आना है उनको यंग हैंडसम मैन बोलते तो बहुत जल्दी आ जाए जेंटलमैन बोला मैंने जेंटल जेंटलमैन यंग जेंटलमैन यंग हैंडसम जेंटलमैन Young, Young, handsome, I... punctual, prompt Boys gentlemen. Boys and girls, please come. So please be here. Three thirty on the dot. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening ahead. Thank you. Thank you.